Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It's time for another donation unboxing video. This is the stuff I got at the P.O. Box this month. As always, if you would like to send something to the channel, I will put the P.O. Box on the screen right now. That's where you send it. But you should never feel obligated to send anything. If you have any doubts about sending anything to me, I would rather you just keep it. Don't worry about it. You don't have to send anything ever. If you choose to send something, though, I will open it uh, in a video like this to show my appreciation. I'm very grateful to everyone who chooses to do this. You, you do not have to choose to do that. Uh, it's just you're very generous, and it, uh, it it's really special to me. It means a lot to me, and I, I want to show my appreciation. So we do that by opening this stuff on camera so I can say thanks to you directly. This is the stuff that we got. Uh, and we're gonna open it up. I've already cut the boxes open. Oh, I didn't cut this open, uh, but I've already cut the boxes open. Uh, I have my handy knife in case there's any interior packaging that I need to cut open, but I've not looked inside, so I don't know what this is. Let's open it up and find out right now. Let's start with this letter, and this letter uh, is from Kenneth. Thank you, Kenneth. Uh, I am pulling the letter out of the envelope right now. Uh, as always with letters, I scan through them to make sure there isn't too much personal information. I don't want to read out your personal information in a video. Uh, so I'm going to read through this really quick, uh, and then I'll be right back with you. Hang on. There is a little bit of personal information here, but not too badly. It says, Dear Sir, Hello. Um, I like your YouTube series. I hope the series continues. Uh, I collect 80s G.I. Joe figures loose. Uh, if you know who to get rid of them, just let me know. Please write back. Stay safe. And then he has his, his full name and address there. I won't read that. But I'll say thanks, Kenneth. Uh, I will do my best to reach out uh, to you as soon as I can. It's a little bit of a busy time right now as we ramp up and get ready for Cobra Convergence. Uh, but uh, I do appreciate this correspondence. Uh, as with other letters, I, I have a, a folder that I keep these in. I will keep these letters forever. I will cherish these letters that uh, you send to me. Uh, and thank you, Kenneth. That, that means a lot to me. Thank you for taking the time to write in. Now let's get to this, and I, I very helpfully uh, forgot to, to cut this open, so let's do this. Um, this is from this is from Painted Plastic, uh, the YouTube channel. Painted Plastic, uh, and uh, that's it's a great YouTube channel. Uh, he's done some customizations that I've shown on this channel, some really cool stuff. I believe I know what this is because he told me what he was going to send, but I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you what it is. Um, so I'll try to do that and not cut my table, but it's kind of thick. I don't think it's going to cut my table. Um, but yeah, should have should have opened this, should have cut it open before before the start of the show. This is show prep. That's what this show needs is show prep. And there we go. Well, maybe there we go. Uh, oh, here we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. I'm trying to. There we go. Okay. So let's. Uh... Yes. The, yes, there is tape on the inner packaging to cut. So that's why I have this. There we go. We got it. We got it. Uh, and thank you, Brandon. Thank you for this. Uh, let's check this out. Yeah, okay. So this is what this is. What this is. These are figure stands, but not any ordinary figure stands. These are 3D printed figure stands for classified six inch figures. So it's got the peg size for the classified figures, um, but it is made in the style of the old battle stands from the, the vintage era, from like the 80s and 90s figure stands. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, he told me that uh, he had these and asked if I wanted to try them out. Absolutely, I want to try these out. So. Um, uh, in a future video, I'm going to pop some uh, uh, some classified figures on these and just see how they work. I think this is a really cool idea. Uh, most classified figures do not come with figure stands. In fact, the, the only one, like, this, uh, it's not actually classified. It's like the retro 6-inch series. This Baroness has a figure stand, and it's like a modern-style figure stand. But... Um, 
These are vintage style figure stands, and I'm just super curious about these. Uh, so thanks for this. This will be useful, and I'm really looking forward to trying these out. Next, I'm going with this box right here for no other reason than I just happened to put it on top. Uh, so this... Uh, is from someone who would like me to not disclose their information in a video. So I won't, uh, but I will say thanks to that person. I have received more than one thing from this person. Uh, I, I very much appreciate it. It's very nice and very kind, so thank you for that. Uh, but let's open this up and see what's in it. And immediately, I see a letter. So before I uh, read this letter aloud, uh, I will read this letter uh, to myself, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, this says public letter on the top, so I think it's safe to read this. Um, so I'll, I'll read this. Uh, not disclosing any other information on here, but this says it's public, so I think we're okay. It says, Hello, HCC788. Hello. Uh, this month I've started with the obligatory G.I. Joe figure retro collection, I believe. After that, um, uh, I'm sorry, after that are a few Transformers, including one in need of restoration, if you're willing. I've never tried to restore a Transformer before. That is, sounds like an interesting challenge. There's also a bag with two items for your daughter. She loves that, by the way. She really enjoys that. Um, also, some Joe Scale monsters. The bottom of this package has a special item because ain't no party like a third party, Diosoth. So thank you very much, sir. Very much appreciated. Uh, let's see. Let's just see what we got. I'm going to put this over here for safekeeping. And right off the bat, I see an action figure. And right off the bat, I see that it is a modern Flint figure. I like Flint. I do. I dig. I dig some Flint. I really like the version one Flint. I just think that's a really classy looking action figure. And uh, this is this is quite nice. This is quite nice. So we're starting out strong. We're starting out with a really nice Flint figure. Uh, and let's see what else we got. Um, we've got some bubble wrap. You can never go wrong with bubble wrap. You know, you gotta you gotta protect the stuff because the postal service will not protect it for you. You gotta protect your stuff. We've seen what happens when the Postal Service gets its hand on these, so good job. We've got, now this is interesting. We've got some Transformers, and um, I, I'm, not, I'm not unfamiliar with Transformers. As a kid, I had some Transformers, but um, these are of a generation that I would be much less familiar with. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna, I think when we're done with the video here, I'm gonna play around with these a little bit. Um, I do not want to lose their bits, though. I don't wanna lose the parts. That guy's cool looking. Yeah. So, yeah, dig that. Um, uh, all you Transformers guys are probably shouting out the names of these guys uh, right now. And uh, I wish I could hear you. I wish I could. In fact, maybe I can. Shout louder. Shout louder at the screen and and I might be able to hear. Um, so, yeah, that's... Um, uh, that's that's cool. Let's, what else we got here? These are fascinating. Like, oh, there's a like there's there's like a, a mini fig in here, like a blind bag. That that may also go to my daughter because she like likes the blind bag stuff. But it's like Lion Optimus Prime. It's uh, uh, Optimus Aslan Prime. Um, and we've got like a, yeah, like a sound wave boom box here. Oh, it looks like it actually transforms. Does it actually transform? It, it does. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to play around with this stuff. I am going to play around with this stuff, um, after this video because I, I don't have a lot of transformers. I don't get an opportunity to play with a lot of transformers very often. I'm very curious about this. I think I will let my daughter open this she, she she really digs that kind of thing um so uh let's uh let's keep digging we have oh what's this oh that's cool uh okay let me uh, see what we got here we've got a couple different things here um oh and it's it's zelda so is, is this the stuff for okay cool this is america from um uh, from uh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Uh, really nice figure. 
really solid figure. I think this might be the thing for uh, for Audrey. Uh, there's also Zelda patches. It's very tempting to keep these. I do like Zelda myself too, but she will really dig these. Um, so that's awesome. Um, there are a couple extra hands for the for the figure. That's a really solid figure. This is a really nicely designed figure. Just t t just taking a quick glance at it. That's, it looks good. It looks really good. Um, I. Okay, and we got um, uh, we got we got Rodimus Prime here. Dig this. Yeah, it's it's it, like in parts here, but it, it's Rodimus. It's, it's not Hot Rod. No, this is this is post Matrix of Leadership Rodimus. That is, I, I never had that Transformer growing up, and I, I did like the uh, Transformers movie. I liked it a lot. Uh, but at that time, I wasn't buying a lot of Transformers toys. Um, so I never got any of those. I never got any. That's a, This is the closest I've been to a Rodimus. So that is awesome. Here's an alien. There, there's a Xenomorph here. Dig this. It, it's a, it's a, an orange Xenomorph. So this is um, a Xenomorph that is specifically genetically modified to attack Timur. Um, he'll be terrified by the orange color. Uh, it's really nicely sculpted though. That's that, that's um, remarkably accurate. That's that's really cool. Um, up there and we've got a we've got an Optimus Prime bubble guy. I want to show you all the stuff. Um, these must be, yeah, uh, these are the um, the Joe scale monsters that he was referring to. And we've got like a, a blue xenomorph. L looking wicked. We got a blue one. I, I probably don't need to take all of these out of their packages, but, but I'm going to anyway because I want to show them to you. Come on, come on, here we go. We got a green one. I like the green one. I think the green color actually goes the best with it. Um, yeah, but dig that. These are really well, well, reasonably well articulated too. Not so much at the elbows, but wrists and shoulders and knees and the tail and the head. Really nicely done. And finally, there is a red one. Um, come on. There we go. Trying to get my fingers to work. Here we go. Um, yeah, like, they kind of look wicked all distorted like that, that... Uh, to fit in the packaging, they, uh, there, there's a, some body horror stuff happening there. And this one has elbows, elbows and um, wrist articulation. Yeah, this is like the more like quadrupedal style. No, I dig that, and they are in Joe scale. This would be terrifying. We could create. Hey, look at this. Uh, going right back to what. I mentioned before, here's Hot Rod, there's Hot Rod. I, I'm really interested in a Hot Rod. Like I said, I never had him, never had him. And um, this is as close as I've ever been to a Hot Rod toy. I, I don't, I'm not really sure like why the movie didn't create a renaissance for me in, uh, in Transformers toys, it, it just didn't. Um, I was, you know, still, getting G.I. Joe at the time. Um, and and I and I had some Transformers. But, uh, but yeah, I didn't jump back on to buying Transformers despite that really, really enjoying the movie. There's Megatron. Looking Megatron-y. Um, and, uh, and we've got this guy, and I don't know who this guy is. Uh, this is not one that I'm familiar with. This is a Transformer. Yeah, you tra Transformers guys, shout l more loudly at the screen. Shout more loudly at the screen, and I will be able to hear you as you're shouting the name of this guy, who I'm sure you instantly recognize. Uh, good colors on this, though. Nice, very very intricate, very intricate. Um, so, let me move these out of the way. We've got more. Can uh, I move this out of the way? And finally, we have. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to keep everything together. Oh, hey, 
cool. Uh, all right, first of all, let me make sure there's nothing in the bottom. I've made that mistake before. But yeah, check this out. It's like, so this is the third party thing. And it's like a, a Rodimus Prime third party figure. And I, I have zero experience uh, with these third party Transformers. Zero. Uh, so this is like all new to me. Hey, that looks really, ah, that thing fell off. Yeah, the, the, here's the paperwork, all right, and the accessories, but um, but dig that. I'm not sure if I should, like, take it all out right now, but I'm just really curious. I, I will take a closer look at it later, but for ju just for a minute, let's pop this out and take a look at it. That is that is hefty. That is substantial. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you for this, uh, and thank you for all your support. You've been a supporter for some time, and it, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, but thank you for this. Uh, I'm going to carefully put this away because I want to take a closer look at all of this um, as soon as we're done here. But uh, I just want to say thank you and, uh, you know, hope you will, you will stick around and continue enjoying the show. I'm going to go with this one next. I usually save the biggest one to last. Um, so this is from, uh, this is from Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Um, if you don't watch the show Peg Warmers on YouTube, you should. It's a really good show. Uh, and in fact, right here uh, is a lovely Peg Warmers card. I don't have cards. I don't have these uh, postcards like that. I need cards. Uh, this says, Yobi, hope you can find a good use for this, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box is uh, blue. It is blue fabric. I know what this is. I know what this is. I know what this is. Do you know what this is? I know what this is. Let's see if you can figure out what this is. You see it? You, you see it? You know what this is? This, my friends, is a Cobra Commander costume. I already have the Cobra Commander hood, and this is a, the costume. Look, is this a cape that goes with it? Whoa, man. Uh, so this this is awesome. It has got the cobra, the cobras on the on the cape. Um, this is cool. Um, I uh, I'm gonna try this on. Uh, if it's not my size, it looks like it might be a little big for me, but I, I can like take it in or something. But uh, you know, I've I've talked about the idea of cosplaying before, and we got ourselves our whole uh, cobra commander costume, uh, and and. Like, and I can put the hood that I already have together with this, and I've got a complete costume. That's awesome. Uh, so uh, thank you, Kevin, and uh, and thanks for Peg Warmers. It's a great show, and I hope you will check that out. It, it, I try to catch it um, with, on the premiere as, as often as possible. If I can't catch it on the premiere, you know, I watch it on the replay. But a uh, great show, great uh, toy-focused show. They talk a lot about G.I. Joe, but lots of other things, too. So awesome, Kevin. Thanks for this, and, uh, and I will try to find a good use for it. That brings us to this guy, and this is from Jose. Thank you, Jose. Uh, I am going to open this, and uh, I immediately see a letter. Oh, and I immediately see what it is. Okay, uh, well, let me look at this letter. And as always, let me read this letter to make sure there isn't too much personal information. One moment. Okay, uh, not, not too much personal information here. Uh, it says, greetings. As for me, the last few years have been difficult. I understand. I, I, I sympathize very much. You may think that making G.I. Joe videos will have a limited impact, but nothing can be further from the truth. When I get home from work, I have the opportunity to watch one of your videos. I can travel to that extraordinary moment in my life. Thank you very much for the work continue. Uh, God bless, and he gives his name. Uh, Jose, thank you, Jose. Uh, P.S. Some time ago, I bought these G.I. Joes. After thinking about it, I know that they are better in your hands. I hope you can do a review. So thank you, Jose. That's very, very kind of you to say. I, I appreciate that a lot. I will be keeping this letter uh, always and forever, and uh, I, I see what these are. I know what these are. You're going to get a kick out of these. Just take a look at these. Check these out. Um, let's see. Let's start with this biggest one. Yeah, this is... You, you've probably seen some of these. This is the construction set. These are the, uh, the pseudo Lego sets that Hasbro did. I guess they were licensed. Who they license these to? Licensed to somebody. Uh, Forever Clever? Is that the company name? 
licensed by Hasbro. Um, so yeah, these are these are like Lego compatible construction sets, and this is huge. This is obviously this is the Cobra Rattler, but there's a lot more in here. Let's check these out. Here's a smaller one. This is oh hey, this is the Snake Eyes Ninja Cycle. This is the one I had my daughter. In fact, it's right it's right up there. I showed you this. Um, I was so curious about these, I had to get one, and this is the one that I got. Um, and I've got a ton of them now. So yeah, I've got to I've got to do an assembly on these, right? I've got to I've got to do assembly videos on these. Uh, there's lots of Cobra stuff. Oh, there's one. I almost missed one. Yeah, there's a Cobra Fang here. I mean, they look cool. They really do. Um, I um, I'm I'm really curious about about these um, and how well they actually go together because that has been a criticism of these. So um, I'm very eager to try these out. It doesn't matter to me because I'm gonna have fun either way. I'm gonna enjoy this no matter what. Um, but like, we've got an, a Ninja Awe Striker. Um, so kind of reminiscent of the uh, G.I. Joe Retaliation movie. Uh, the all striker that Snake Eyes was driving. Uh, we've got a Cobra Ferret. Uh, we've got, and now we've got some huge ones. We've got what is this? Um, this is it has an all striker on the front, but it's totally different. It has um, uh, a ninja motorcycle. It has a drone. It has uh, like a um, some kind of a missile uh, vehicle. Not, not a vamp or an all striker. It looks like it has Snake Eyes Duke and uh, Falcon, I guess, or is that is that General Colton? It might it might be General Colton. I'm not sure. But there's a whole lot that comes in this, and it's like not regular GI Joe vehicles. It's some GI Joe characters, but it's some some different vehicles. I'm very curious about that. I I am I'm dying to open that. Uh, but we've got oh yeah. We've got a snowcat. Check that out. Um, if if these were high quality, these would be really awesome. Because like here's a uh, here's a Sky Striker, just in time for Top Gun Maverick. There's your Sky Striker right there, and um, a nice Ace in a flight suit. Is that, that actually oh whoa whoa almost. Sorry, I almost knocked it over. Nice ace in that flight suit. It looks really good. And we finish it up with... What is it, are we finishing this up with? With uh, Oh, it's a Sky Striker and a Night Raven in the same box. Um, so, wow. Uh, impressive. And, um, yes, I will be opening these. I will be putting them together, and I'll, I'll try to do some assembly videos as soon as I can. Um, the desire to do them is there. Uh, getting the time to do them is more difficult. But absolutely, man, I want to look at these. Um, so thank you very much for these. And thank you to all of you who sent stuff in. And even if you didn't send stuff in, stuff in, thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And that's what we got this month at the P.O. Box. And I just want to say thanks. I want to say thanks to all of you. Uh, you've been very kind to me. It means a lot to me. I mean, obviously, this is very generous. Everything that was sent in is very generous. And it's very touching that you would think of me uh, to do something like that. But uh, I'm really thrilled just to have you here and going on this journey with me. It means a lot. It, re it really means a lot. It means maybe more than you know. So thank you. Thank you for that. Um, and um, uh, again, if you'd like to send something in, never feel obligated to do that. Really, do, do not feel obligated. If you'd like to, though, the address will be on the screen right now. That's where you would send it. If I receive something... Um, this month, then next month, I will do another video like this, uh, opening whatever we get and saying thanks for all of that. Um, if we don't get anything, then I just won't do a video, and that's fine with me too, because I really am happy just having you here. So, thank you. Um, very soon, I will be in Augusta, Georgia for Joe Fest. That's coming up really soon. I've got a lot of work to do before then. So I'm going to jump on it. I've, I've got to accomplish a lot before Joe Fest. So, um, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't sit around. But, uh, but thanks for this. I'll see you all soon. I'll see some of you in person soon at Joe Fest. And until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.